Okay, so we have an official scan now from Dragon Ball GT Goku, the kid version. And, uh, yeah, it's a little bit more detailed. It's pretty cool. You get, it's nice to see legit, uh, high-quality pics of it. And there's a little bit more that they show. I still can't believe that the power pole is even used for starters. Like, for Dragon Ball GT Goku, I guess they thought it'd be more exciting. It's like, okay, kill two birds with one stone. So if we're going to pick a kid Goku here, which one should it be? I say the GT side, some say the regular Dragon Ball side. It's like, huh, why not just have both? So they had the GT version, and they just gave him the, the regular Dragon Ball version's power pole. I, I mean, I, I guess it works, right? It is still kid Goku. I guess they figured uh, regular Goku's base form uh, kid version back in the old series was a little bit lackluster. Like, they were looking for... I guess they wanted to use the Universal Spirit Bomb and stuff like that. Who knows? Or maybe they wanted to just hint that GT, have a little tint of GT in there. Who knows? But, yeah, these are the scans. Uh, as you can see, he's riding on Shenron in one of them. I definitely would imagine that's his opening, his opening intro. Uh, I can't see it be anything else. Maybe his ending intro as well, if he wins, possibly. Imagine him flying on, on Shenron. You see that face smiling and it says KO or something. Who the hell knows? It could be his dramatic finish, but I doubt it. I, I wholeheartedly believe that he's going to, uh, it's going to be this. It's going to be uh, his opening. What else do we have here? I think he uses a blast to propel himself faster towards you in in light of an attack he's got the uh yeah he's like a more specific look at it he's got like a rush down beam attack so he shoots a beam and then i guess he uses it to propel himself towards you it's pretty cool it might be really fast now that i think about how the game works and the mechanics that might be a really fast move and probably his go-to uh i would assume this is his hyper uh, just a regular command mail wave only go Super Saiyan 3 pretty lit I uh, might be as l l no no I wouldn't say, I would say that's like a regular super it's not as level 3 which is cool going Super Saiyan 3 casually as your finisher that's something new so that's really cool also you can't transform in it sadly so it's the closest you're gonna get here you can see him escalating himself with the power pole um he's it's definitely like a jump it gets him height i'm assuming uh whether that's an attack or not i don't know it looks like trunks trunks was hit but i don't know if that means that that was the hitbox of the attack or he got hit and then they inputted this move quickly after i'm not too sure because from the looks of it the move didn't hit trunks here's another scan him just attacking with the power pole I don't know how long that thing's going to be, but I'm assuming fair reach. Mediocre, probably couple couple feet. I don't know. I wouldn't say it's ridiculous uh, in terms of length, though. There's a spirit bomb. Uh, that's definitely like in the animation after the, the cutscene prior to it happened. And there's Goku. So, as you can see... Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Here's another scan. And this is from the beginning of the attack, and yeah, he's propelling the, he's propelling himself from the blast, and he's so I, that's pretty cool. I wonder if that orb stays there for like ever, or at least a good amount of time, sort of like like Piccolo's beam when it just like hovers around and, and stuff. Maybe he that stays there, and if you touch it, you get hit. Who knows? But I do know that he could ricochet off of that and propel himself to make it an attack, which would be cool. I never seen him use that before in GT, so. And then it continues with, finally, the Universal Spirit Bomb. My theory on this, though, is I want to know why they, in particular, chose Dragon Ball GT Goku. Like, this is, like, what, the seventh Goku in addition to the cast now? So it's like, okay, why this GT Goku? Like, you could think that you, I mean, like, okay, so you would think that out of anything GT, you would get a fan favorite, like Super Saiyan 4 Goku, for example. So... Th this being the first installment from the GT franchise tells me that this is not over. There's no way they would choose this over Super Saiyan 4 Goku unless they plan to like make a brand new game eventually. And they're because like think about it. Like at first I thought okay they're saving UI because when they were coming out with Cooler and they were coming out with all these characters that were kind of random, 
I was like, okay, so they're saving the big stuff for like the next game, like Jiren and stuff like that. But now that we got Jiren, and now that we're getting a tenth of GT, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if we get UI Goku. I wouldn't be surprised if we get uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. I, w I wouldn't anymore. I think they're just going to add more season fighter passes, that's all. And being that this Goku in particular is in, I'm having a theory now that since we're lacking a little bit more of dramatic finishes, I'm I'm assuming now the next character announced might be Sin Shenron. Why not? Who else does Goku finish off with a dramatic finish like that, you know? So, very possible. I can't see any other GT character. Uh, like Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Vegeta, Gogeta, maybe Gogeta, but I can't see it. I can't see Gogeta being in it without them adding the first Super Saiyan 4s in, in the addition to the cast first. So, that X is off Gogeta. And Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta, can't see one of them being announced and not the other. I just, I just can't see that. So, the fact that this Goku was announced, it's leading me to believe that the next main antagonist, the, the next big villain that will be announced will be Sin Shenron, and he's going to be the final character for this particular pass. And that's my predictions on that. So, anyways, yeah, that's that's the scan. Like if you like this, like if you have no thumbs, uh, sub, and please like the vid. Laters.